Proctor's Garden on this Sunday. Ever since uh, watching Bird Box on Netflix, I feel like I need to surround <laughs> myself with 10 million birds. So Then you should come live at my house. We, I am bird heaven. I love it. So how do you make it a bird heaven in the cold? Well, it is, it is cold, and that's really important. And the things that birds need are open water so they can bathe and drink, and then, of course, food. They're just like us. And we've got all of that here, so we're good. Yeah, we're so covered. let's start with water. All right, I'm doing my best Vanna White right here. So, yeah, that's a great heated bird bath. Okay, I'll pick it up. So, you got it here. Yeah. And then you can attach it to your deck or to your patio with a... Oh, we got and this you can right mount here. It. Mount. Or you can also get a heat block and put it in an existing bird bath <laughs> that you already have. Now, I'm the trying reason, to model it the best I can. And, and you think, why, why do we need a bird bath this time of year? First, they need to drink. But second, more importantly, they need to bathe because dirty feathers are not efficient. Yeah. And if you can't fluff out your feathers, you can't stay warm. Sure. So they, they do need to continue to take a bath during the winter, just like Makes we sense. do. And is this yes. something that you need to unplug after a certain amount of time, or can you keep it plugged in for you a while? You can keep it plugged in. Okay, so it's not going to cause any sort of problem. No. No, okay, good. not at all. Okay, so moving on. perfect. Now, if you want to attract a lot of different kind of birds, get a, a, a feed mix that has sunflower seeds in it. That's well balanced. But remember, birds are just like us. They need carbs, they need fat, and they need protein. So and we'll get to the fat later. But this is uh, this is the protein. When in doubt, when in doubt, and and carbs. Okay. When in doubt, put out something that has sunflower seeds in it because almost every single bird loves sunflower seeds. Okay. But remember the little birds, the cute little chickadees and finches yes. and stuff? We love them. We love them. They like thistle a lot. Okay, and what is thistle for people who don't know? Well, um, it's, a, it's a plant uh, that most people don't want in their gardens. <laughs> and this <laughs> is sterilized okay. so that it won't germinate. Oh, good, okay. But see these cute little mesh bags? And this mesh feeder is exactly the same thing. Little finches can get in, see even here, you can see that the little pieces are coming out. They can just pick those right out and just oh. go to town. Oh, nice. So that's one way to help them. Get a little and festive can, with the stock. And you can just too. get yeah. you can just get bags of the th thistle. Okay. Cute little bird feeders all over the place. But consider what you want to do with them. This is one that you thought it was a bird cage. It's yeah. not. <laughs> it, it's a feeder. Like Rob doesn't keep his. This is actually my cages. feeder. I clean it up a little bit to bring it in, but. Look who can get in, the little birds. Oh, yeah. okay. So yeah. a squirrel can't get in there. Okay, because squirrels the hot get, we're, gonna, yeah. we're almost going to get to the squirrels. But first, fat. This there is it is. Suet. The suet. Suet. So you can get a fruit and nut. Uh, this one is the hot pepper blend. So which birds like that? All birds. All birds like that, okay. Because the thing about fat is that it keeps their energy levels up and it mm -hmm. keeps them, helps them to stay warm gotcha. during, this, during this horrible weather. Now, the reason why we've got the hot pepper blend, <laughs> take a look at this. Okay. <laughs> squirrels do not like hot pepper. Flaming they, squirrel? Flaming squirrel seed sauce. And oh. what happens is they just go, no, I'm not eating this. Like they can smell it and they just go away. Or they'll or try, they, they'll try, they try it once. See that he's got uh, flames yeah, coming out of his ears. Yeah, that's adorable. <laughs> yeah. Poor thing. The, uh, but, it, but the birds are completely oblivious to it. They don't mind the hot sauce sure. at all. So they'll go ahead and eat the treated seed if you put that sort of stuff on them or if it's, it's already uh, in, in, the, in the mixture. Do you need to get something like this or can you use just like Tabasco or? I would go with this because it's um, probably a little bit safer for the. It's animals, a little right? bit safer, and, and they okay. figured out. I'm not. I haven't read the. I can't read that small. <laughs> what do you need me to read? But, but what's actually in it? But okay. it's basically probably hot pepper spray. Yeah, so. habanero, chili pepper, soybean yeah. oil. Yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. So go with something like that, or if you have habanero peppers hanging around, sure, just sprinkle them on. But. That's just such an interesting quirk that squirrels will eat anything. They really They'll eat the roof off of your house. But not hot right. sauce. Will not eat hot sauce. Okay. So okay. stay away know, from the south then. Now you know. <laughs> yeah, no yeah don't go to New Orleans anytime <laughs> That's soon. That's right. All right, Rob, thank you so much. Appreciate it.